haunting film about the Syrian civil war. Last Men in Aleppo, a documentary that looks at search and rescue missions in Aleppo. Specifically the White Helmets, an organization of volunteers who save victims buried in the rubble after bombings. It's about the inner conflict between the Syrian who is trying to, to find, find themselves between how they can help their society and between how they can survive with their families. And between these two conflicts, and they have to find themselves, have to establish a place to survive in, in this environment. Last Men in Aleppo is the first Syrian-produced and directed film to receive an Oscar nomination. Some of those involved, however, will not be able to attend the star-studded Academy Awards ceremony next week. Karim Abid is one of them. He helped produce it. But because of President Donald Trump's travel ban, he's been denied a visa to enter the United States. Mahmoud Al-Hattar, the co-founder of the White Helmets, who's featured in the movie, is also unable to travel to the U.S. In his case, it's the Syrian government that reportedly blocked him from going. <laughs> President Bashar al-Assad's regime has accused the White Helmets of links to rebel groups. Despite these setbacks, for Firas Fayyad, the goal of Last Man in Aleppo is, first and foremost, to give a voice to those who are powerless and make a lasting impact in a war that's cost hundreds of thousands of lives. Now it's the time that if you, if you don't have a power, if you don't have the, the voice like, like any a, 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 a person in power, you can make it with telling stories. Make films, tell stories, and you can write the history and change the history. I am Margit, I24 News.